Hey guys, welcome to Bukhart Audio. My name is Mads Bukhart and in this video I will talk about the S400 Mark II. To understand what we did with the Mark II, I think a bit, a bit of a backstory for the original S400 is needed. Um, now our, our goals when we built the S400 started the building it for it's nearly six years ago. Um, we had a goal with, uh, in mind that we wanted to build a speaker that was as close to the most perfect, theoretically correct speaker that you can build. It was a huge success and um, by doing all the, all the correct things uh, that has been shown by research and development, we all, you, you get 80% of the way. You can actually make a, a very, very good speaker for much less than, than what the S400 Mark IIs uh, cost. Um, if you're only looking at a speaker from uh, on a paper. Um, but when you start listening to it, um, there is much more that goes into to building a speaker that, that, will, that will give you a, a way more engaging feel uh, when you start listening to music. Uh, that will also give you a sound state presentation that is, that is out of this world. So that was mainly the goal with the Mark II version. Um, so we spent a lot of time just fiddling around, trying different parts and different ways of building the crossover, different designs. And uh, we ended up with a, a crossover that's it's completely, many would maybe say overkill for, for speaker in this price range. And I think we can comfortably say that, uh, that you won't find any speaker within this price range that has this level of attention and detail to, uh, to the crossover design and also the parts used. So it's a, it's a very important part for, uh, for the S400 Mark II um, and it's, it's really a, a big upgrade if you, if you ask me and if you ask all the teams and all the, the guys that have listened to it so far. It's a, it's a, it's a speaker that, that will just make you want to listen more and more and actually a speaker that will for once make you forget that you are listening to hi-fi gear and just start enjoying the music instead. And that's, that's something that's very important to me personally and, uh, and I think uh, it's, it's, it's reflected much more in a, in a design like this compared to the original S400. We have also done other improvements uh, such as the cabinet. Um, one of the things that have been done with the cabinet is that we have increased the volume slightly so that it will match better with the, uh, the new paper cone uh, woofer that we have introduced also to the S400 Mark IIs. Uh, the bass response is uh, slightly better. On paper it looks nearly the same, but, uh, but when you actually listen to it, it, it's, it sounds um, like, a, like an actually a pretty big improvement uh, in the bass region. And uh, we have also introduced uh, bracing inside the cabinets, which were needed now that we have a larger cabinet. So all in all, it's from the appearance uh, of the speaker, it, it doesn't look like much, but um, when you sit down and listen to it, it's, it's actually a, a huge difference compared to the original S400. Uh, and even when you look at it on paper, when you look at the measurements from, uh, from the speakers, they, they don't look much different, even though that they sound quite different from each other. And that just goes to show again that measurements isn't everything. It's very important to have the uh, theoretical parts of the speaker design uh, in place and that's a baseline where we started because if you're listening to the S400 and the S400 Mark II side by side you will hear that there is quite a big of a difference uh, between the two. In my opinion you get actually a, a way better value for money speaker um, with the S400 Mark II. Um, it has been a hard task and we have spent a few years on uh, perfecting this design but uh, I think that, that you'll be extremely happy with it should you give it a try. But uh, I encourage you to do so. And um, thank you for watching.